Today I'm heading for another ride. Uh, it's a bit icy to get out of here today. Uh, I hope I'm gonna make it through. But uh, the roads are uh, pretty dry. Uh, overall, uh, yeah, it's winter, or at least it's coming, and uh, the temperature's below zero. So uh, I gotta take the advantage before the big snow comes in again, because uh, we already had uh, quite a bit of snow, and it all melted. Time to head out and uh, see how it goes today. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna do anything stupid, but. Uh, uh, just at least to go for a ride. It's gonna be quite cold, it's only like minus four degrees or so. I was sitting for a month, uh, I wasn't able to get out. The main thing is to get through here, because that's the hard part, the rest should be fine. A rolling on ice. Oh, almost. She's freaking slippery. There's no tires that handle on ice. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you got. Time to gas it up a bit. We have a heavy snow in the forecast for this afternoon. But I'm just gonna head out for a couple hours. Any break I can get, I'll take it. Gotta put that heat grips. Winter riding. As long as you dress warm, you should be fine. Pair of long jones. But I gotta go get some gas. I'm dry. That stuff is pretty slick on the ground. I think I'll put it 91 octane today, uh, just because the bike is sitting uh, quite a bit and better to have a higher octane while the bike is sitting and not used on a regular basis. I miss summer already. It's nice to be reunited on a bike again. Not even sure where I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go to ride. At least we have a nice and beautiful sky. That's always appreciated. Getting tired of all this uh, coronavirus bullshit on the TV. I got to unwind reading too much online. God knows what they're gonna do to us with that freaking COVID idea. Oh, that's great. My phone charging slowed down because of the temperature. That's quite interesting. Can't press it, those gloves, they don't have the touch feature. It shows zero, but it's way colder because of the wind. So probably sometime next week, I'll get on uh, replacing the brake fluid and uh, radiator fluid on my bike. Uh, there's so many of you guys uh, notice they have a problem with leaping water out of a water pump and I was uh, looking at uh, some, some information online and uh, what I found out uh, that you gotta change your radiator fluid more often than uh, required uh, because that stuff breaks down and uh, inspect the little breathing hole on the bottom of the uh, motor there on the right hand side there's a little breather and sometimes when that gets plugged in the radiator fluid uh, starts dripping down and uh, that might affect your water pump and stuff like that uh, but probably the water pump itself that's a different issue of the, uh, altogether but uh, but anyways it's not expensive to do and uh, i want to do it just to take care of it uh, i think it's worth it. it gives me additional peace of mind damn it's cold freaking fingers are freezing I'm gonna have to pull over because I don't know how much longer uh, before you freeze to death <laughs> I can feel the heat uh, but it's still for some reason the fingertips are still freezing I took that route so many times uh, I think this is just the quickest uh, way to get out for me and uh, at least for a little bit and uh, take a short spin around Actually, the wind is not too much, uh, it's not too bad. I was expecting to be a little bit higher wind than this, but uh, overall it's not too bad. As you see in front of us, uh, the mountains, they have quite a bit of snow already. A few ski resorts that are already open, because uh, we had a couple of big dumps of snow. But thankfully, uh, we had a few nice and warm days, and uh, it melted all the crap. I can't believe it, farmers still didn't pick up their... Straw. It's 
still sitting here. I guess they're, they're not in a rush, it's all rolled up, so only the top part is gonna get a little bit wet, but uh, inside it's nice and cozy. Oh, look at that spectacular view. Gorgeous. I love it when there's a blue sky. I would like to actually pull over here and uh, fly my drone uh, to capture all this. It's uh, quite beautiful. I think I'm gonna do it right here. I'm gonna turn around and I'll go back to that side road. Let the car go through and I'll turn around and I get out my drone and fly it for a bit. There's a little side road that I can uh, get into. Get a little bit further away from the highway. There is a little pull out uh, or maybe it's uh, somebody's driveway shot. Yeah, it is a somebody's driveway, but there's another one right there. This is nobody's driveway. And get on here perfect spot for me to fly the drone for a little bit here and practice uh, at the same time uh, I have to head back as I didn't want to go to the city but uh, I have to go back to the city to take care of something and uh, now the weather is so much nicer uh, the frost is gone holy moly that was like five minutes uh, time interval from a nice sunny spot to this heavy fog uh, I hope I'm not gonna get caught into uh, heavy snow uh, that is in the forecast but I was in the forecast for later on and uh, and I took a chance and now I'm on my way on the way to the city I'm really not looking forward to get uh, snowed in because <laughs> that's gonna suck and in, um, like living that close to the mountains anything can happen Wow, I just can't believe it. It was nice and beautiful sky just minutes, literally just a few minutes ago. And now the wind is picking up, temperature is dropping, we're at minus two, and we were at plus four just a second ago, and that was on the outskirts of the city, now I'm coming into the city. I did that a few times last year as well, where there were some breaks in the weather in the winter, and I was able to manage to get on a bike. Uh, that's why I always say, I never put it away completely for winter. Um, the bike is usually ready, just sitting on a trickle charger. And it's ready anytime there is a break, uh, I can hop on it and uh, take a small ride. Normally this time of the year, I would be getting away with my family for a winter, at least for a couple of weeks down, to, down south to Mexico or um, Dominican Republic. Unfortunately, even though the flights are still available, I did not want to take the chance because uh, with all these COVID restrictions and uh, I'll do anything to avoid that stupid COVID testing. Uh, that COVID testing is not even accurate and uh, they just, it just gives them the higher numbers so they can uh, whine about it. Of course, the more tests they do, the higher numbers, uh, higher COVID numbers they get. And I haven't seen any bikes today. I'm the only crazy dude. Normal people sit at home, watch TV, drinking coffee, 
or beer or something else and there's me riding a bike enjoying it there is downtown sitting in a nice fog yeah there is downtown wow that fog is dense here oh it's snowing now really fine little snow what is that a camera car nope car's gonna make it home so my camera died and I had to change the battery and uh, I am getting close to home and it is snowing now it's a really fine thin snow so that, would, that ride was a little bit of everything we had a beautiful sun and a spectacular afternoon and then heavy fog and now snow I'm glad I made it just a couple more kilometers uh, I'm glad I, I'm getting home all right guys thanks for watching and, uh, if you enjoyed that video in any way at all hit me the like button and if you are new here subscribe to my channel check out on my other videos uh, on my playlists uh, from riding uh, during the summer and uh, I have uh, quite a few tutorials uh, that might be helpful to some of you until then see you next time cheers